Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> welcome, 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 everybody. Let me make sure you can hear me. Welcome. Ah, oh, you can. <laughs> I see me. I hear me. All is good. Yay. <laughs> I am so glad you're here. I've been chatting with Rachel in the chat. She is excited about the musical, um, musical trivia. Um, yes, my daughter will be here. <laughs> she is also a musical fan. Um, so um, I'm excited about this trivia. It should be fun. Um, I will go ahead and um, y'all say hello in the chat. So I make sure I can make sure that everybody um, hears me, <laughs> knows that I'm here, get all my stuff, get all my stuff. I got to make sure all my things are working. <laughs> of course, my allergies are all messed up. Can you hear me? Let's see. Um, oh, hello. Michael is here. Glad you're here. Um, no, I never did musical the theater. Um, I've always been a musical person. Um, but I was, I was like in the band. I did flags and I was color guard. Um, so I did that thing, but I hung around all of the people who were in the chorus and, and, or the choir. And I, and then my daughter was, uh, did musical theater in high school. And I was, you know, that mom, <laughs> I was always around. So I did that stuff. I love it. Um, it's funny now with my brain damage, it is difficult for me to watch because not watch, but to be able to listen to the music and hear hear the message, I, it that's a thing. Because I would try, I was trying to watch something, and I can't remember which musical it was now. And I found that it was difficult now, but at least I have the knowledge from the other. So, um, so now I didn't participate, but my daughter did, and she will be here uh, here shortly. Um, she also is really good at trivia. So, y'all, <laughs> you need to beat Marissa. <laughs> that is your goal. Um, Jordan will also be playing. Um, he knows some, but um, not a whole lot of, of that. That's awesome. I played violin and clarinet and did theater, but only backstage jobs. I was too shy. Oh, <laughs> well. Um, Everybody gets that. Everybody gets the stage right. Everybody, you know, gets nervous. Even doing these things as much as I do. Um, there are times when I get super nervous before I come on the camera. Sometimes not, but sometimes I get super nervous. Um, and then it goes away once um, I'm on screen and I have y'all and it's all good. <laughs> But everybody gets a little stage fright. Even some of the big stars will tell you that it is terrifying for them. And you wouldn't think that since that is what they do. Oh, there's Jordan. Jordan is here. Um, ah, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Rachel says, hello, Jordan. Um, so tonight, I'll go ahead and tell y'all that tonight... Um, these trivia questions are, there are so many, there are just so many wonderful musicals and to, to get, to, to pick out musicals to do trivia questions on, um, I didn't really want to do that. So what I tried to do is to, um, to pull in as many musicals as I can. So I will, I will tell you right now that, and this will kind of help you with your answers. I do not have a lot of repeat um, musicals. I try to get at least one, a one question 
for musicals and I've got musicals that go all the way back to the beginning. So um, I didn't want to get locked into the ones that everybody knows and y'all know grandma does not do easy questions. I don't want to do easy questions. I like for y'all to learn during the process. I want to expand your knowledge. That is the big thing. I want you to learn, expand your knowledge and to have fun doing that. Um, and a lot of people, there might be musicals that you've never heard of. And I think that is wonderful for you to be able to go, oh, I didn't even know that was a musical or, oh, I remember my mom or my grandmom or my dad used to listen to that. Um, so um, I knew it would be hard. <laughs> yes, these trivias that I do are not easy. They're not. Um, and I have yet to have out of all of the trivias. I have yet to have anybody get all 35 questions right, or all, even if it was less than 35, all questions right. I've never once, and I do that on purpose. I don't want it to be, I don't want anybody to feel like, I don't know, I can't do it. It doesn't matter. If you know it, you, great, great. <laughs> if you don't, it's fine, just guess, and that is how we learn. Um so those of you who are watching for the replay, you absolutely can watch this for re during a replay. You do not have to be here live. I, of course, would love for you to play live and compete. Um, we do give prizes once a month. I give a prize for the person who I, you get tickets and I put all the tickets in a, a box and we pull at the end of the month. Um, you get three tickets. If you get first place, you get two tickets. If you get second place and you get one ticket, if you get third place. So, and my children don't count. So Marissa doesn't count and Jordan doesn't count. So you're able to be able to win just for participating. Um, so it's fun. Um, and I, I do want you to learn and I don't want you to feel scared about, I don't know it. I will tell you, you're not going to know all of these answers. You're not there. You're not going to know, or even maybe you just don't like the certain musical. And so you don't know anything about it. That's fine because it's one question and then you're on to the next one. Uh, and that is another reason why I decided to do a whole bunch of musicals instead of just one. Now in the future, I will probably pick out one musical and do a, a lot of trivia on that one. Um, but that that's in the future and that is probably something that I'll do. All right. So to explain how we work, the, how we play this game, if you're playing live, um, all you need to do is in the chat, you just need to put in the number either one, two, three, or four that goes with the answer that you believe is correct. You want to get it in quickly. If you get, if you put in the wrong answer and you're like, oh, I, for, I didn't mean that, don't put in another number because the system is going to take the first one and that second number might carry over and mess up. Um, if you start to lag and I say to refresh your screen, that's because I'm noticing that your answers are coming in afterwards and it's not going to, it's not going to register at all and you'll be behind through the whole thing. Um, so I might say refresh your screen and that just means just, just, click it to refresh so that it catches you up to the live. Um, so let me move myself down here real quick. Uh, we'll see. So whoops, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> that is not what I meant to do. Um, well, we'll get it. <laughs> Delay out there. <laughs> I don't know what I did. There we go. Now I'm where I need to be. Now I'm where we need to be. Okay. So we'll be starting here in a second. If you're on the replay, 
you just play like you're watching on television. Just say out the answer. And if you would like to put in the comments how well you did, or let me know what your favorite musical is. And I'll I'll look at doing one of those musicals alone, you know, a standalone on your own. Um, thank you so much, Rachel. <laughs> I appreciate that. And yes, I will look into doing single musicals. All right. What is the name of the musical that tells the story of a young woman who travels to Austria to become a governess for the Von Trapp family? Is that one, Sound of Music, two, The Phantom of the Opera, three, Les Miserables, or four, Hamilton? What is the name of the musical where the lady from Austria becomes a governess? What is it? She's a governess for the Von Trapp family. There we go. Um, let's see. We have we have Rachel in here, Jordan, Marissa. Um, yeah, Marissa said she was here. <laughs> we have Outpost. Hello, Outpost Nerd. Love that you're here. Um, oh no, is here. Michelle, it's one, one, the sound of music, the sound of music. Almost everybody got it right. Don't worry, Michelle. Michelle is here. Um, Hamilton is Marissa's favorite. Yes. She listens to that at night sometimes to go to sleep too. <laughs> yes. Hamilton is very popular. I will have to do a Hamilton one. Um, and if you saw, noticed, that is on the thumbnail. Um, what musical features the song Define Gravity? Is it one, Wicked, two, The Lion King, three, The Book of Mormon, or four, Cats? What musical features Define Gravity? Is it one, uh, one, Wicked, two, Lion King, three, The Book of Mormon, or four, Cats. Define Gravity. Define Gravity. Uh, <laughs> you love her? <laughs> yes, yeah, see, I, there are, I'm, I am going to have to do um, things. So in the comments, um, when we're done, or you can do it in the community tab under the thing. Put what what um, are your favorite ones so that I can go back and look. All right. Define gravity. That is one wicked, wicked. That is where you hear the song Define Gravity. And I hear her singing it in my head right now. I was hearing all of the music in my head as I was doing this. You would see, you would sell your soul to see the OG Wicked cast. Yes, yes. Wicked is, my daughter was in Wicked um, in high school. <laughs> All right. In which musical do the characters Mark, Roger, and Mimi deal with poverty, addiction, and HIV AIDS in New York City's East Village? Is that one, West Side Story, two, Rent, three, Jersey Boys, or four, Chicago? What is it? What, what musical is the characters Mark, Roger, and Mimi deal with poverty, addiction, and HIV. What, what, what musical is that? In New York City's East Village. New York City's East Village. What is it? Mark, Roger, and Mimi. It's two. Two rent, rent, Jordan. <laughs> That's Jordan's musical. Jordan, it was two. <laughs> That's okay. It's all right. <laughs> they are hard. They are hard. No worries if you get them wrong. They are hard. Even if you like the 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 musical and you know the musical. 
grandma's going to pull out something that you might not know. All right. What classic Leonard Bernstein Broadway musical re-envisioned Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet in the world of white and Puerto Rican gangs fighting in New York City? Is that one West Side Story, two Jersey Boys, three Cabaret, or four a Avenue Q? What is the Leonard Bernstein Broadway musical that is a white and Puerto Rican um, gangs fighting in New York City? It's it's the re-envision of Romeo and Juliet. What is that? <laughs> Gonna open up a restaurant in Santa Fe. <laughs> Ah. All right, it is one, one West Side Story. <laughs> yes, Rachel says yes. West Side Story, that is the Romeo and Juliet in the, in the world of the white and the Puerto Rican gangs fighting in New York City. Good job, good job. Well, Y'all are doing good. Now Post is, he's like, boom, got it. <laughs> good job, guys. All right. Next question. When did the first theater open on Broadway? Was it 1, 1925, 2, 1895, 3, 1845, or 4, 1735? When was the first theater open on Broadway? Is it 1, 1925? Two eighteen ninety five, three eighteen forty five, or four seventeen thirty five. The first Broadway theater, the first th theater on Broadway. There you go. Don't know. Guess because of the odds of y'all knowing this. <laughs> and I do have some trick questions in here. You have to listen. <laughs> Uh, Rachel says, hey, surviving motherhood. Got the moms in the house. It's four. Oh, my goodness. Marissa got it. Four. 1735. 1735 was the first theater opened on Broadway. 1735. That was a few years back. <laughs> I don't believe anybody here was there on opening night. <laughs> nope. 1735. Long time for Broadway. What Broadway musical is based on a movie by Tim Burton? Is it one, Moulin Rouge, two, Hades Town, Hades Town, Hades Town, <laughs> three, Chicago, or four, Beetlejuice? What is a Broadway musical based on a movie by Tim Burton? Tim Burton. Tim Burton. What musical? Hmm. One Moulin Rouge, two Hades Town, three Chicago, or four Beetlejuice. And hey, guys, if I mispronounce something, which I will, please forgive Grandma. <laughs> Her brain doesn't work and she gets tongue-tied. <laughs> so please forgive me. You love Tim Burton. Oh, yes. So does Jordan. Jordan loves it. Yeah, look at y'all. Almost all of you. Oh, no, that's wrong. Beetlejuice. Don't worry. Oh, no, it's all right. <laughs> Beetlejuice was the Broadway musical based on Tim Burton's movie, Beetlejuice. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I know. I know. Tim is cool there. <laughs> Tim is cool. All right. During the 2022-23 season, how many people attended plays and musical on Broadway? The 20, the 2022 and to 23 season, how many people? One, 13.5 million. Two, uh, 
12.28 million, three 11.32 million, or four 1 billion. How many people attended plays during the 22-23 year or season, I should say, their season? One 13.5 million, two 12.28 million, three 11.32 million, or four 1 billion people attended musicals on Broadway. To 12.28 million people. And that is down. That is down. Before our lovely pandemic, it was up to over 13 million people. Then the pandemic hit and it took it down. And it has gotten back up to the 12.28 million. It'll get back up there as people get more comfortable getting out and everything. So, yes, <laughs> COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it interrupted a lot of things. In which in which musical do characters Roxy Hart and Velma Kelly compete in the 1920s for fame and fortune? Is that one Chicago, two Cabaret, three Avenue Q, or four All That Jazz? What? What musical do characters Roxy Hart and Velma Kelly uh, um, compete in the 1920s for fame and fortune? One Chicago, two Cabaret, three Avenue Q, or four All That Jazz. And if you don't know, just pick a number. Just guess. Help Post Nerd says, I performed in cabaret as Max the club owner when you were in college. Ah, super cool. Super cool. It's one, one, Chicago. Chicago is the musical that Roxy Hart and Velma Kelly competed in the 1920s for fame and fortune. Very good. Very good, y'all. Outpost, that's really cool. I love that. <laughs> love that. Wish we could see that performance now, right? <laughs> that is awesome. Which cartoon created by the creators of, uh, which cartoon was created by the creators of the Mormon book, uh, the Book of Mormon, sorry. One, The Simpsons, two, South Park, three, Rick and Morty, or four, Family Guy. What, which cartoon was created by, by the creators of the Book of Mormon? One, The Simpsons, two, South Park, three, Rick and Morty, or four, Family Guy. The creators of the Book of Mormon did what cartoon? One, The Simpsons, two, South Park, three, Rick and Morty, or four, Family Guy. And I will give you a hint. It's my favorite. Favorite thing. <laughs> I love the Book of Mormon, too. It's South Park, too. South Park. They actually put this, put the Book of Mormon in their cartoon and it got to be so popular. They actually did the musical after they created it in the cartoon. And the Book of Mormon is huge. And I will be doing South Park here coming up soon um, as a trivia because I'm going to do season one first. We're just going to do seasons. All right. Which musical is based on the novel by Gaston Lero? I'm saying that right. <laughs> and features the song, All I Ask of You. Is that one, The Sound of Music? Two, a fan of a, a Phantom of the Opera? Three, My Fair Lady? Or four, All That Jazz? What is the musical based on the novel Ga uh, by Gaston Leroux. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, All I Ask of You is the song it features. One, The Sound of Music. Two, The Phantom of the Opera. Three, My Fair Lady. Or four, All That Jazz. 
I, a fan, uh, Outpost Nurse says, I saw Phantom of Broad, uh, Phantom on Broadway in the 90s on a, a high school trip. Very cool. It is. It's to the Phantom of the Opera. And that, the Phantom of the Opera was my dad's absolute favorite uh, musical, which is funny. It's funny that I never thought of him as being someone who watched musicals. But yeah, he was. All I ask of you is one of my go-to audition songs. So cool. See, we need to hear you, Outpost. All right. Which musical features the song, I Know Him So Well? Is that one, The Book of Mormon, two, Mamma Mia, three, Chess, or four, Avenue Q? What is the musical, uh, the, the, what musical features the song, I Know Him So Well? I Know Him So Well. I saw Spider-Man and Lion King on a school trip to New York. School trips are the best. Yes, they are. And I worked hard to be able to send you to those things. I've never been to New York. I've never seen um, anything on Broadway like that. Would I love to? Absolutely. Even with brain damage, I would go sit there. I would. <laughs> Lion King was sold out. <laughs> So, um, it's three, three chess. Chess is the musical that features I, the song, I know him so well, the musical chess. And that's not one that most people know about chess. Very good guys. Um, you saw it in 20, 20, 20. I don't remember when it was that you saw that Marissa. Um, you graduated in 2000s. All right. As of 2023, what musical holds the record as the most nominated production in Tony history? Is it one, Wicked, two, Phantom of the Opera, three, Lion King, or four, Hamilton? What musical holds the award for the most nominate nominated doesn't mean that it had to win, but the most nominated production in Tony history, one wicked to the Phantom of the Opera, three, the Lion King or four Hamilton. <laughs> I can't stand it. <laughs> See, that's why I'm doing such a broad thing because with all different ones, because there are going to be musicals that people don't like, like Outpost, you don't like, I guess you don't like Hamilton. Um, Marissa loves Hamilton. So it's for Hamilton. Hamilton holds the record as the most nominated production in Tony history. The most nominated. Broad thing. Ah! <laughs> yes, that's funny. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yes, it is. That's a good pun. In the Music Man, who did Marion tell her student to say good night to on the Evening Star? Is it one Winthrop, two no one, three my someone, or four? Harold Hill. Who did Marion tell her student to say good night to on the evening star? Is it one Winthrop, two no one, three my someone, or four Harold Hill? Who did she say say good night to on the evening star? One Winthrop, two no one. Three, my someone, or four, Harold Hill. If you don't know, pick, pick a number. Pick a number. One, two, three, or four. <laughs> I want to play Marsilius from The Music Man and perform the sh sh poopy. <laughs> sh poopy. It's, it's three, my someone. It's a dream. Oh, that's cool. Good dream. 
my someone. She says to say good night to my someone on the evening star. Good job. Y'all are doing super good at this. I love it. I love it. How many years was prisoner 24601 or 24601 Jean Valjean in prison for, for stealing a loaf of bread? Was it one, nine years, two, five years, three, 19 years, or four, 10 years? How many years was Jean Valjean, which is prisoner 24601 in prison for, for stealing a loaf of bread. E versus Rachel. <laughs> Haven't been paying attention. I'm saying. <laughs> Marissa, Marissa's really good at, uh, at um, trivia. And this is something that, that she likes. But yes, I want y'all to beat her. <laughs> It's three, three, 19 years. Prisoner 24601 was in prison for 19 years for stealing a loaf of bread. No, you don't count. She does not count. <laughs> she doesn't count. <laughs> it's just y'all. Jordan and Marissa do not count. 19 years. I, I think it was, he was supposed to be in jail for five years. And then it was additional years because he tried to escape. <laughs> All right. In which musical do characters MC Sally Bowles at Bowles and Cliff, Cliff Bradshaw navigate the rise of the Nazi party in 1930 Berlin? Is it one, the producers, Two, the Harvey Girls. Three, Gypsy. Or four, Cabaret. What musical is it where MC Sally Bowles, Cliff Bradshaw navigate the rise of the Nazi party in 1930s Berlin? One, the producers. Two, the Harvey Girls. Three, Gypsy. Or four, Cabaret. Hi, you sit with this thing and see, you get the music in your head. <laughs> Tomorrow belongs to me. It's four, four cabaret. Cabaret is where they navigate the rise of the Nazi party in 1930s Berlin. Good job. Y'all are doing good. If I get this wrong, I need to return to my college diploma. <laughs> That's funny. Outpost distracted you. Foul. <laughs> All right. What is the name of Annie's dog? Is it one, Spot, two, Sandy, three, Rover, or four, Blondie? What is the name of Annie's dog? Is it one, Spot, Two, Sandy. Three, Rover. Or four, Blondie. What is the name of Annie's dog? Annie's dog. We go, Tomorrow Belongs to Me. It was when we see a Nazi for the first time in the show. Oh, okay. Um, I don't remember brain damage, but I, I don't remember a lot of that one. Um, Annie's dog. I know y'all know this. This movie frightened you. <laughs> it's because they're going to put you in an orphanage <laughs> and make you clean. Sandy, number two. Sandy is Annie's dog. What outpost? <laughs> And I thought everybody would get this one. I tried to put some easy ones in here too. Sandy. The dog's name was Sandy. I think it's so funny. If I knew the lat oh, the, <laughs> the latter scene. <laughs> All right. What is the minimum number of seats? A theater. That should have been seats. A theater must have to be a Broadway production. Is it one? 
500, 2, 400, 3, 300, or 4, 200. How many seats is the minimum number it has to be to be a Broadway production? A, a true Broadway, not off Broadway, because off Broadway can be smaller. So a Broadway production, how many seats do they have to have? One 500, two 400, three 300, or four 200. You don't know much about the tech side of uh, of like seating number. That's okay. Uh, and this is how we learn, Outpost. It's one. You got it right. One. 500 seats. They have to have 500 seats to be able to call it a Broadway production. Um, and I cannot remember now what the number is for off-Broadway. Um, probably, I don't know what the minimum is for off-Broadway. You got it. You did. You got it right. The musical South Pacific when sing at uh, when they sing the song some enchanted evening where does the sound of laughter sing is it one in your mind two in your heart three in your dreams or four in her eyes where does your the sound of laughter sing is it one uh in your mind, two in your heart, three in your dreams, or four in her eyes. The South Pacific. Now that was a big one we did um, when I was in high school. Was was the South Pacific? I helped with that one, and I can hear her singing <laughs> some enchanted evening. Uh, I can. It's, it's three in your dreams. I oh, make people thought in your heart. It's three in your dreams. Good job, Marissa and Wild Rose. Good job. In your dreams. The sound of her laughter is in your dreams. Very good. Very good. That was, a, that was more difficult. You have to know the words of the song. We did once upon a mattress since <laughs> high school. Um, the one that they did with the mattress is from uh, the the P Princess and the P. Which Broadway musical is based on Puccini's opera Madame Butterfly? Is it one Miss Saigon, two Hamilton, three Gone with the Wind, or four Cabaret? Which Broadway musical is based on Puccini's Madame Butterfly? Is it one, Miss Saigon, two, Hamilton, three, Gone with the Wind, or four, Cabaret? Puccini's Madame Butterfly. Puccini's Madame Butterfly. One, Miss Saigon, two, Hamilton, three, Gone with the Wind, or four, Cabaret. Again, if you don't know, guess. Did, you can use a lot of these things deduction. Deduction. It's one. One. Miss Saigon. Miss Saigon. Puccini's Madame Butterfly. Opera Madame Butterfly. The musical Miss Saigon is based on that. Good job. Life is a, is a cabaret old charm. Oh, that's right. There is there. It, it, that's a big one. That's been on for a long time. Um, in which musical the character uh, in which musical does the character pursue the dream of becoming a ballet dancer? Is it one the Music Man, two Jersey Boys, three Billy Elliot, or four Anything Goes? Which one is it? Is it the the dream of becoming a ballet dancer? One, a music man. Two, the Jersey Boys. Three, Billy Elliot. Or four, anything goes. The character pursues the dream of becoming a ballet dancer.
76 trombones led the big parade with a 101 cornet right behind. <laughs> it's three, three, Billy Elliot. Billy Elliot is the character. He, Billy Elliot wants to become a ballet dancer. Oh, <laughs> she corrected it. 110. <laughs> 110 cornets right behind. <laughs> Sorry. On which day is Broadway dark? What day do they take off? Is it one, Wednesday, two, Tuesday, three, Thursday, or four, Monday? On which day is Broadway dark? Is it one, Wednesday? Two, Tuesday, three, Thursday, or four, Monday. What day do they take off? What day does bro is Broadway dark? No shows. No shows. Closed down. So if you're in New York on Broadway on this day, you ain't seeing a Broadway show. You don't know this one. You guess, you guess. Deduction. Think about it. When would be a good day? Four. Four would be a good day to take off. <laughs> Four. Monday. Monday. If you think about it, they've had big shows, the big, their big shows all the weekend. On Monday, they're, okay, we're tired. <laughs> Monday, they take off. But they have shows Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> you got it right again. I know. See, that's why I'm saying if you do not know, you guess. All right. Named for a major Midwestern city, what long running Broadway musical features songs like All That Jazz, Cell Block Tango, and Mr. Cellophane? Is it one, Oklahoma? Two, uh, two Jersey Boys, three Gypsy, or four Chicago. I just like jumped in the squares. What midway, Midwestern city? There's your clue. Is it one, Oklahoma, two Jersey Boys, three Gypsy, or four Chicago? Named for a major Midwestern city, what long-running Broadway musical features songs like All That Jazz, Cell Block Tango, and Mr. Cellophane? It's for Chicago. Chicago. Ah, oh, you did auditions for a show with Mr. Cellophane, but you didn't get the part. That's okay. You can't get them all. They say Chicago is the most overdone audition show in the world. Really? Wow. Ah. Oh, no. I know, but seven. <laughs> That's all right. It's, it, it could have been right. It's a good guess. All right. Premiering at the London Theater in London, England, the new London Theater in, in London, England. When was the first performance of the musical Cats? Is it one, 2001, two, 1990, three, 1986, or four, 1981? When was the, the first, the first Time that they premiered. They premiered in a new London, the new London theater in London, England, the musical Cats. When was that? Was it 2001, 1990, 1986, or 1981? What did you put? Outpost? Two. Oh, it's four. Cats premiered. The first time on Broadway in the New London Theater in London, England in 1981. And it ended in, Marissa says it ended in 2002. Yeah, but it's, it, that's where it premiered. It premiered for the first time on stage 
in London, England. All right. What Broadway musical uh, opened on January 20th, 1903 and features flying monkeys? Is it one, Wicked, two, The Wizard of Oz, three, The Sound of Music, or four, Lion King? What Broadway musical opened on January 20th, 1903? And features flying monkeys. Trick questions. You really have to pay attention to this one. Yes. Yes. Trying to trick us. I have to put those in there. It opened on January 20th, 1903. And it features flying monkeys. Wicked Wizard of Oz. The Sound of Music or Lion King. Marissa knows I had to add the flying monkeys. It's two, two, the Wizard of Oz, the Wizard of Oz. So the Wizard of Oz opened on January 20th, 1903. Wicked opened on October, I believe it was October 30th. And I want to say it was nineteen oh three. Oh, I can't remember. 2003 or something like that. All right. Which musical do characters Elder Price and Elder Cunningham go on a mission trip to Guana? Guana. Is it one, The Book of Mormon, two, Jersey Boys, three, Chess, or four, Avenue Q? What musical do the characters Elder Price and Elder Cunningham go on a mission trip to Uganda? The Book of Mormon, Jersey Boys, Chess, or Avenue Q? Yes, I had to put in um, the flying monkeys because of my daughter. And at the end of this, I will tell you why. I had to put about the flying monkeys. There is a story to that. One, one, the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon is the musical the characters Elder Price and Elder Cunningham go on a mission trip to Uganda. Uganda, Uganda. There's a different way you can say Uganda. I say Uganda, Uganda. So the Book of Mormon. I can't wait to do the South Park one uh, trivia uh thing here. I think it's in the next couple weeks. All right. In the musical Oliver, what does art the artful Dodger say his name is when introducing himself to Oliver? Does he say his name is one, Noah Claypool, two, Jack Docks Dawkins, three, Charlie Bates, or four, Bill Sykes? What is the art for all artful Dodgers name? His real name. Is it one Noah Claypool, two Jack Dawkins, three Charlie Bates, or four Bill Sykes? He interested introduces himself to Oliver and he says his name is. I don't care. I don't care if I win as long as I beat Rachel. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's two. Two. Y'all are great, too. The Artful Dodger's real name is Jack Dawkins. Jack Dawkins. He introduces himself and he says his name is Jack Dawkins. Good job. Y'all are doing great doing great all right i love oliver that i think oliver might be one of my favorite ones all right this is a hard one the cart horse used in the fiddler on the roof was purchased from a lot des, uh, designated des, destined 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 for what the horses there were for what one mining to the glue factory, three farming or four the circus. 
they went to this lot to get a horse. What was the horse actually supposed to be for? One, mining. Two, the glue factory. Three, for farming. Or four, the circus. first what was the horse they went to find this horse and yes they went to get this horse and the horses at this lot were were destined for the glue factory and they took this horse they saved this horse this horse is in the production and then after that horse was done with the musical it was placed with uh, on a farm that it lived forever and it was happy and it was retired. <laughs> if I were a rich man. Oh, that's right. Oh, look at you, Jordan. Good job. Um, There's No Business Like Show Business is a song written by Irving Berlin for what classic Broadway musical? Is it one, The Coconuts? Two, Louisiana Purchase. Three, Face the Music. Or four, Annie Get Your Gun. There's no business like show business. There's no business like show business. <laughs> what is that from? I know my daughter's going, Mom, don't sing. <laughs> what classic Broadway is that from? The Coconuts, Louisiana Purchase. Face the music or four, Annie, get your gun. Anything you can do. That's right. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> that's another really, really, really good one. I don't know. I said Oliver. I don't know because I think Oliver just is childhood. I remember seeing that one as a child and loving it. Um, Annie, get your gun. It, that That's another really good one. I had to put some old ones in there. The coconuts. That's a that's an old one. Well, <laughs> I had to put a bunch of these in here. Irving Berlin. He wrote. He did all of these. He did songs for all of these. But Annie, get the gun. And get your gun is the one that there's no business like no business. All right. In the musical Grease, what is Sandy's last name? Not Annie. Okay, but. Greece in Greece. What is Sandy's last name? Is it one Rizzo, two Olson, three McGee, or four D? What is Sandy's last name? Is it one Rizzo, two Olson, three McGee, or four D? Sandy in Greece. Sandy in Greece. What is her last name? We have Danny Zuko. Grandma. <laughs> and and Sandy what? Greece is the word. That's right. Greece, Greece is the word. And her last name is Two Olson. That's right. Rachel's like Greece. It, Grease is the word. Grease is the word. I love, love, love that one. That's another one. I don't know. See, I keep saying Grease. I loved Grease. Um, foot, foot loose. That's another one that I like. Um, Grease too never happened. We're not going to talk about that one. <laughs> In Sweeney Todd, what is... What is a name that Mrs. Lovett is not referred to? Not. She ha she's called a lot of names. What is she not returned to, referred to as? One, Wilhelmina. Two, Nellie. Three, Martha. Or four, Amelia. What is a name that Miss Lovett, Mrs. Lovett is not referred to? Not. Is it one Wilhelmina, two Nellie, three Martha, or four Amelia? What is Mrs. Lovett in Sweeney Todd not referred to? They called her, she had all kinds of names. 
<laughs> last my arm is complete i was going to put one about a song that they they where they were going back and forth um but it was too difficult to to phrase in a in a good way um it's martha martha she wasn't called martha <laughs> she was called mary but not Martha. Nellie is a name that she was named. She was called Nellie. All right. Which musical is based on the novel by Margaret Mitchell and features the song Tomorrow is Another Day? Is that one, Miss Saigon, two, Hello Dolly, three, Hair, or four, Gone with the Wind? Which musical is based on a novel by Margaret Mitchell? There's a good hint right there. And features the song, Tomorrow is Another Day. What, what, um, what musical? One, Miss Saigon. Two, Hello Dolly. Three, Hair. Or four, Gone with the Wind. The novel, ba ba a musical based on a novel by Margaret Mitchell. The song is Tomorrow is Another Day. There you go. See, Rachel? Four, Gone with the Wind. I've read. You've read that book 20 times. <laughs> Gone with the Wind is wonderful. I ain't birthing no babies. <laughs> 20 times. <laughs> I, I, I figured that. I figured that's what you meant. Gone with the Wind is the musical that was based on the novel by Margaret Mitchell. All right. What was the first Broadway musical premiering in 1866? The very first Broadway musical that premiered in 1866 is that one, The Merry Widow. Two, The Black Crook. Three, Floridora. Or four, Babes in Toyland. What is the first Broadway musical that premiered in 1866? Is it one, The Merry Widow. Two, The Black Crook. Three, Floridora. Or four, Babes in Toyland. The very first Broadway musical that was premiered in 1866. And I'm saying that because as I was doing my research, as I do, there is another one that was actually earlier, but the Black Crook is the one that they say is the way we have musicals now. This is the Black Crook was the first Broadway musical. So it premiered in 1866. There was one, and I cannot remember now. Um, for some reason, I've got a, a pop-up on my thing. <laughs> okay, everything's cool. Um, in 1866, uh, that one. The other one isn't like what we do now. It was a little different. All right. What is the highest grossing production on Broadway? Is that one, The Phantom of the Opera, two, The Lion King, three, Hamilton, or four, Cats? What is the highest grossing uh, production on Broadway? One, The Phantom of the Opera, two, The Lion King, three, Hamilton, or four, Cats? The highest grossing production, and that's of now. 20, I didn't put that in here, but that's as of, we'll say 2024. What is the highest grossing production on Broadway? One, The Phantom of the Opera. Two, The Lion King. Three, Hamilton or four, Cats. The highest grossing production. It's two, The Lion King. The Lion King, it, the, the soundtrack the amount of people, that's why it was sold out when you were not there, Outpost. <laughs> that is the highest grossing production on Broadway is The Lion King. And by a lot. It's by a lot. 
So good job, y'all. Good job. All right. We're almost done here, guys. Oh, as of 2024, who holds the record for writing the most Broadway musicals and has contributed to 23 Broadway musicals and created over 900 songs? Is that one, Stephen Sondheim, two, Richard Rogers, three, Leonard Bernstein, or, or Bernstein, or four, George Sherwin, Ger Gershwin. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> Who holds the record? Is it one, Stephen Solheim, two, Roger, Ro uh, Richard Rogers, three, Leonard Bernstein, or Bernstein, or four, George Gershwin? Who holds the record for writing the most Broadway musicals? It's two, two, Richard Rogers. He has contributed to 23 Broadway musicals and created over 900 songs. That's as of right now. It's 43, not 23. Uh, what I saw was 23. Grandma could be wrong. I get my information from stuff on the internet and things can be wrong. Um, 43, that would make sense. 43. All right. What is the longest running musical on Broadway opening on January 26, 1888 and continuing its mesmerizing, mesmer, <laughs> mesmerizing, thank you, run until April 16th, 2023? Was that one, Phantom of the Opera? Two, Hamilton, three, Chicago, or four, Cats. The longest running musical on Broadway. It opened in 1988 and it closed on its last night was April 16th, 2023. The longest running as of now. The longest running continue and it, it was continuous the longest running one one phantom of the opera phantom of the opera is the longest running musical on broadway good job y'all good job Good job. I'll have to go back and look at that other, that thing. Thank you, Marissa. Uh, grandma does make mistakes. So I don't, if I say something wrong, please let me know. Y'all did great. Yay. So Marissa, Marissa missed two, 33 out of 35. Outpost, you got 25. Rachel, you got 24. Oh, Outpost, you beat her. <laughs> That's all he cared about. All I cared about was beating you, Rachel. <laughs> so, Outpost, you got second. Rachel, you got third. Jordan, you got 21. Super good, buddy. Wild Rose got 17. Oh, no, got 16. Michael got four. Surviving Motherhood got nine. And Michelle got four. I think those kind of dropped out. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yes, Alpest. Alpest is like, oh, oh yeah. Alpest is so happy. That is so funny. I'm get up here so y'all can see me. I'm in the big box now instead of that little teeny tiny one down there. Good job. Good job. Very good. I'm impressed with y'all. You did super good. So Marissa and Jordan do not count in our monthly thing. So if you take them out of the equation, Outpost, you got first. So you get the three tickets towards the end of the month drawing. I um, can't remember what you got the other night. Um, anytime that you get you get placement, whether it's this or the Bible ones. Um, if you get first, which 
Outpost, you get first tonight. You get three tickets. Rachel, you get two tickets. Jordan doesn't count. <laughs> so Wild Rose, you get one ticket. So that'll be, that'll go into the pot for the drawing um, on the last, the last um, trivia of the month. Um, so uh, the last trivia of the month at the end, like now, I will draw to see who wins $25 towards my sponsor, which has been running down at the bottom. And it's also this Grandma's Gifts the number four, the letter U.com. You can go on my shop and start shopping around, see what you would like. I've got all kinds of stuff on there. I'm getting ready to put some more things up there. Um, I had a lot of Easter stuff. I'm going to be taking that down and putting some stuff up for summer and everything. So I have t-shirts and mugs and hoodies and blankets and all kinds of stuff. Just go on there and look. Um, now, so, um, yeah, sometimes you have to refresh. Uh, you had to refresh. You, you you mean you had to refresh your knowledge? <laughs> oh, you lagged. Yeah, okay, I see you lagged. So sometimes it, it will lag, and if you refresh your screen, it will pop us um, back up. That happens a lot. Um, sometimes you'll hit, you'll hit on something, and it'll pause it. And if I notice that you're... If I notice that your answers are coming in late after we're already moving in, which I didn't notice that tonight, um, I'll let you know that it looks like you're um, you're behind. And I'll just say to refresh your screen. I didn't notice anybody lagging really bad. Um, Jordan, I'm so glad that you had fun. I got I had a rent question in there for you. Uh, Rachel says I'm a happy loser. <laughs> Well, I just love that um, y'all like it so much. It, I will, y'all let me know um, after the, after we end the stream, put in the comments so that it stays there and I'll be able to see it. What are the, what are the, um, the musicals that you would like me to specifically pull out? Like, like we'll just say the Phantom of the Opera, just do the Phantom of the Opera or rent or whatever. Um, and I will do specific ones. Um, cause there's so many, there are so many. I tried to get, I tried to get at least one question for as many as I could. Um, I did theater tech. LOL. Loved it. It took all, it took a whole class on it. You did do a lot of the tech stuff. You did a lot of, um, a lot of props and background stuff. She was always coming home covered in paint. Um, I got like four or five because I came in late the other night. Okay. There you go. It, you can come in late and still play. And um, so it's all good. I love it. I love it. Don't feel bad if you come in late. Just because you come in late doesn't mean you can't play. And if you miss some... You can go back and watch it on the replay. And that's always cool, too. Um, Outpost says, Marissa, I did I did as well. But I wanted to be on stage more than backstage. Yeah. So you're more of the performer. Um, oh, <laughs> she's got to run. She's got to go make Jordan's meals. Marissa, you and Jordan, I'm so glad that you came to play. I hope you had fun. You're modding, so you can take me out. No, 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 I don't do that. I'm here for chat. I don't, it, just because your mods don't, no, my mods count. Like, the only people that don't count are my kids, and that's because they already get the stuff anyway. So I'm not going to reward them. They, that's the only reason why. No, you, nobody knows any of the questions in advance. Not even my kids. Nobody knows the questions. So it's all fair game. The only, the only person that knows the questions are me. And I could still play because I have short term memory and I don't remember the stuff that I put in here anyway. So, so I would even qualify if I went by that. 
yeah refreshing the stream yeah you need sometimes that happens um marissa says outpost nerd i did both but i'm i'm no good it, i think um she is a very good singer she has a very good voice very proud of her um acting she, you didn't do as that much acting so i can't say that you weren't or were so i don't know um outpost says i'm decent at both but not the best or worst but decent i, I would love i you know it makes me want to hear some of your audition stuff i bet you're super good bet you are that's right. Marissa says, make sure to click that like button. Y'all, please. Grandma is trying to get, um, I'm headed for that 100,000 um, subscribers. So please click the like button. It helps to put my, my stuff out there so that people know that Grandma is doing trivia and brain games and not just reading books. So um, please, if y'all could do that, it would it would help me out a lot. Oh, thank you the flying monkeys i told this the other night but i will tell you today i had to put in features the flying monkeys for wicked because <laughs> or that was wizard of oz so wizard of oz so my daughter did wicked in high school and she came home and she was very confused and upset and she's like mom they've got these flying monkeys in, in the musical. There are these kids and they've got, they're the flying monkeys. And you know, there were no flying monkeys. And she said, I keep telling everybody there's no flying monkeys in the wizard of Oz. And they keep telling me there is. And she was very confused, but she was very adamant to the people, to, to these students that there were no flying monkeys. And she was telling me, I don't understand. And I was like, Oh yeah. When she was little and she was watching The Wizard of Oz, which I I promoted, um, she was watching The Wizard of Oz, the monkeys scared her. So whenever, this was back in the day with VHS tape, when it, when it came to the part with the flying monkeys, I just fast forwarded through the section of the flying monkeys so she wouldn't get scared and then... and. I just cut that part out. She never saw it. So fast forward to high school. She has never seen the Wizard of Oz with the flying monkeys. So <laughs> I had to say, oh, yeah, there are flying monkeys. I just fast forwarded to it because you were scared. <laughs> so she had to go back to school and tell everybody my mom fast forwarded through the flying monkeys because I was scared, <laughs> scared of them. So Marissa, there are flying monkeys in the wizard of Oz and in wicked. It is a big part of the movie, <laughs> the flying monkeys, <laughs> my daughter and the flying monkeys. Um, Rachel says, I literally told my husband to leave me alone for trivia. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Little Shop of Hearts. Oh my gosh. I forgot about that one too. Oh, I love some Little Shop of Hearts. That's another one. See, now I shouldn't have said Oliver was my favorite because it's the, I that one might be. That one, I know every single song, backwards and forwards, loved it had the CD, played it all the time. My, my kids had to listen to it. Yes, Little Shop of Horrors, one of your high school productions. That is a super good one. Yes, I will have to do Little Shop of Horrors. Um, that's, a, that's a cool one. We can talk about the movie versus uh, the musical too. You were always backstage props, puppets, and costumes. Outpost says, I get... Oh, you get typecast a lot. Oh, well, I understand. <laughs> Some I, I, all actors have to deal with that kind of thing at times. You like the Annie in the ladder scene? Yes, see the same thing. Annie in the ladder scene, Wizard of Oz, and and the Flying Monkeys. But see, your parent, your mom didn't fast forward through the ladder scene, so that is in your head. I had to say to my kid, 
yeah, there's flying monkeys. And she, and she was so mad at me because she said she was so embarrassed that she was just, she was adamant that there were no flying monkeys and that they were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Little shop creeped you out as a kid. I can see that. It's kind of scary. There's a, there's a lot of negativity in there. A lot of these are really negative. The dentist in this shop made you scared to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh well yeah and you know the dentist it's it probably does have some sadistic you know things in his brain because think of what they're doing to you that's not a pleasant thing for anybody nobody goes to the dentist wanting to it's on it's one of my theater son's favorites too oh that's cool yeah i love that you were before i was before a and VHS. <laughs> uh, I had silent movies when I was growing up. <laughs> Outpost age. If you're okay saying I'm 44. Rachel's Rachel's 44. Yeah, Outpost, you're younger. My daughter is 28. Um, Jordan is 35, but he's autistic. He's high functioning autistic. Um, and I adopted him. Um, but he's 35. So outpost is 36. All right. Um, yeah, it's hard to know when, when we're doing these things. Um, a lot of times it's hard to know people's ages or, um, male, female, depending on what their screen name is. Um, Sometimes you can kind of get a feeling by the way people talk and things or what they're talking about or their interests, but not always. That doesn't mean everything. Um, and I, I can't see y'all, so I don't know how old you are, but that's good to know. So Outpost is 36. My autistic son is 35. My daughter, Marissa, she is getting ready to be 29. She's getting old, um, but she loves trivia. She's She's good at it. Um, she's like me, random knowledge. And then when she really likes something, she gets sucked into it. And she'll now with the internet, she can get into rabbit holes and learn more. Um, you're, yes, you're still in the generation. Yeah. I'm, I'm way much older than y'all. <laughs> yeah, I could be, I could be your, your mom's. <laughs> That's okay. I accept you all. I had somebody in my grandma's house on one of my books back before when they could put comments on there. Somebody says, said, are you really a grandma? And I said, I'm everybody's grandma. <laughs> I'm everybody. They, that I'm grandma in my neighborhood. I'm, I'm grandma. And I have friends that are like, it's funny calling you grandma when I'm older than you. <laughs> But I'm everybody's grandma. I'm everybody's mother, everybody's grandmother. It's a wonderful thing. Well, guys, I am so, so, so happy that y'all came to spend this time with me. You truly, truly make doing this fun for me. I love creating the trivia questions and researching this stuff. Um, I've got Seinfeld coming up. I've got MASH coming up. I've got South Park coming up. Um, any of these things that you are interested in, if there's a topic you're interested in, I mean, I literally, I'm no joke. I write these things down. I have them down. I mean, you can see we've got South Park, MASH, Game of Thrones, baseball, Marvel, DC, Simpsons, hoodoo, meaning spiritual stuff, uh, The Lord of the Rings and Hobbit, The President, Serial Killers, where I did that one, musicals, Ghostbusters, States, um, Seinfeld, Twilight, Buffy and the Vampire, Buffy and the Vampire, uh, Big Bang, Flags, then back here I got movie duos, dogs, global traditions, landmarks, and Disney, like old school Disney. So I lit, I really do pay attention. I write it down. I want your, I want your, um, 
what y'all are interested in because I'm I'm doing this for you. Um, a Phantom, a Phantom in '99 on Broadway was my first time seeing a musical, and you were in the fifth grade. Ah, oh, that is a really good experience. And you know, as a child. I used to take my kids to see things and do things and they were like, ah, mom, 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 I don't want to do this or I don't want to do that. And they pitch a fit, but I, I, I made them do it. And I was like, look, you will be happy for the experience later on. Good example is in 2017, I drug my youngest son, my youngest, I drug him to see the eclipse, the 2017 solar eclipse. It was coming, coming in our area. It was going to be 99% where we were. But if I drove an hour or so down the road, we could see it at 100%. So I found out where the center line was. And now I'm talking center center. I found out where it was. I planned, I made reservations and I was like, you're going with me. I drug him down there. We spent the night in a hotel. We made a big thing out of it. We met tons of people. We had the best experience in the middle of a field with people from all over the literal world that came to that one spot to see the totality of this eclipse. And he was complaining. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Okay, fast forward to the other day when we had it again. He's up in Ohio. Yes, uh, um, Rachel and I were just talking about this in the chat before we started. Um, it was 99% in Ohio where he was like you, Rachel. And, um, he's texting me. He's like, mom, he's like, it's 99% here. And he's like, um, it's super cool. He got to be out there with people he worked with. They were literally in the parking lot watching it. And um, he he got to tell his experience of being in 2027, I mean, 2017, seeing 100% and telling these people that he got to experience that. And he literally said, mom, at least we got to experience 100% then. So that made me feel good to know Okay, I drug him and he pitched a fit because he didn't want to go. And now seven years later, he's happy that he went and he's able to ex to share his experience with other people. So you going at fifth grade probably did not want to go sit there. And now all these years later, you're like, oh, yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> See, we parents, sometimes we know. <laughs> I had my first born in 90, 1999. My first born was 98. Um, and then, so uh, Jordan, I adopted him. I adopted him when he was 28. <laughs> so much longer. Um, so I've only had him for, you know, seven years or so. <laughs> um, Sorry, sorry, uh, two 99s going on. Okay. <laughs> it was, it was beautiful. It, it, yeah. He, he said it was really cool. And even all I got to see was the 80% um, or 81%, you know, around there. It was still cool. I had watched it from my front yard. But it wasn't as cool as the 100%. So I am so glad that I I drove him an hour. I made a big deal out of it. Oh, I actually got to wear the same glasses that I had from 2017. I said, I'm glad I saved them. Because <laughs> I just went in there and pulled it out of the drawer. And I'm out in my yard <laughs> with the glasses on. Um, yeah. So, th yes, thank you. It was, it, it's, it's special that... Um, that I, I got to spend that. I had that time with him to be able to deal with that. And now 
he can he can share that experience. It is really cool that it gets, I mean, the temperature drops, it gets dark, the crickets came out. Um, but where we were was in the middle of a field. Farmer, uh, local farmers were coming and bringing us um, watermelon. And we, it was like, it's massive tailgating party. It was really fun. So experiences that you have as younger, like my daughter going to New York, she really, she didn't really want to go. She didn't. I made her go to Greece. She didn't want to go to Greece or, or Rome. I made her go with that with a, with school. She didn't want to do it. Pitched a fit. Pitched a fit. I don't want to do it. I made her go. And now she's glad that she did go and see these things and experience these things. Um, I worked my butt off for her to be able to do that. Um, you were in the city and it was still cool. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Still cool. Um, <laughs> Rachel, yes, I will adopt you all. Outpost, I'll adopt you. All of y'all, I will adopt you. <laughs> I adopted, I adopted um, Jordan. I did. I, he was a surprise. He was a surprise. It's a surprise. I was way older. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. Thank you, Rachel. Well, I am going to get off of here. I do truly, truly love that y'all come and spend this time with me. And I truly do love uh, doing this for you. Um, you make me so happy. Um, please do make sure that subscribe if you haven't. Click that thumbs up if you haven't. And if you say, Grandma, I did not like it. Click thumbs down. It's fine. It's fine. Make sure that you put in the comments what what is it that you would like me to do. I really would like to know what what kind of content would you like me to do trivia on, um, and I will I will put that on. I'll put that on my list, and we will do them. It's not just a list that I'm going to throw away. I will do them. Don't know when, but it will get done. So anyway, y'all, I am I am out of here. Thank you for coming tomorrow i don't have anything saturday i have wordle wordle is at one saturday it is super super fun um i will tell you that the word uh the word list is going to be seinfeld related because on monday we're going to be doing season one of seinfeld love Seinfeld. And these questions are grandma's questions. I have literally watched every single episode and sat there and written them down. So it's not stuff you can Google and find off of some trivia thing. Grandma's questions. I love doing that. <laughs> that makes it harder. You can't just, you know, Google whatever you, you have to, you have to know. <laughs> you have to be, you have to know, or you just guess. It's fun anyway. So Wordle on one uh, on Saturday at one, Monday night at nine, Seinfeld, and then um, Tuesday at four, we do Wordle again. So y'all come and hang out with me and um, I will, let's see, what did you say? Um, I'll think on it so much. Lo uh, love you too. Thank you for helping me feel included. Oh, you are so welcome. Everybody, I want everybody to feel included. Oh, here you go. I miss you. I have a story. Um, I know who you are. My brain is not thinking. I love your channel. Your voice is super good. Was busy. Sorry, I missed it. I'll try and catch you next time. You are fine. Watch it on the replay. Come hang out with us. And um, I do, your stories are great. Um, I, you've got a really good voice. Love it. Love it. So y'all go, it, it's, they're not children's stories, but they are really good. He, you do a really good job. I'm, seriously, you do. Um, so go listen to, I have a story. Go click on, go click. Go, go subscribe to his channel. It's really good. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just here. 
yeah well you you really do i want i want you to know you, you really do and just hang in there hang in there just keep doing it your channel will catch on just put them out there i have over 500 books on there and they continuously they grow and they grow and they grow but i've been doing it for eight years i haven't done books in a while because it's difficult for me to read them right now um but um yeah <laughs> I, I knew what she said. I just hear me. I understand that. <laughs> I'm telling you, you have a great voice. The way you read is very good and people will catch on. People will find it. Just keep doing it. Keep putting it out there and do it because you love it. Just and do, do the things that make you happy and, and, and you'll be fine. You'll, it'll, it'll grow. <laughs> You can't, you can't go into it going, I'm, I have, I have to do this and I'm going to do this. Do it because you like it. And I'm telling you, it's, it's good. You have good, good content. So, um, um, Rachel says, I do preschool. I'll look, I'll look you both up. Um, his stuff wouldn't be for preschool. He does older things um, like the Raven and stuff like that. Um, so he does older, older stuff. So he wouldn't, it wouldn't be for um, Outpost would like it, that kind of thing. Um, but he, he's not preschoolers. He's more adult, but it's super good. Um, but still go, go check out his channel and, and, and you'll like it. I enjoy it. And read, yes, read what you feel like reading. Because if you read what you read and do the video because you enjoy it, it comes out in the video, which makes it a better video. If you read something that you didn't really like, that too would come out in the video and people would be turned off by it. Um. No, Daniel Steele, they're not doing it. <laughs> no, no, the, your voice wouldn't go for Daniel Steele anyway. <laughs> well, I don't know. You do have a smooth voice. <laughs> I couldn't see you doing that. The stuff that you have on there now. Good, good job. It's good. I I like it, and I, and even I I think I have commented on some things, but even I have liked on everything. I know I've gone through and I've liked everything, at least up until like a at least I know a month ago I went in and made sure that I'd I'd listened to them all. Um, Outlander. Oh, Outlander is really good. I watch Outlander. In fact, I'm like, I, I think I've caught up. I think I have. I think, uh, I think the next season is the last season. There are a couple of them. Handmaid's Tale. That's another one that I'm watching. And the last one is going to be the last one. Um, um, it's funny. People are, I've had people, of course, you can't, I can't make everybody happy that are upset at me doing these kind of things on a children's channel. I, you know, it, it's not just a children's channel. It's grandma's house. And you know what? We do trivia at grandma's house and we talk about serial killers at grandma's house. And, you know, I'm, I made that over 18. So sorry. <laughs> I had to have, I have Bible. I mean, come on. <laughs> grandma has everything. <laughs> uh long day my miss my spelling is screwed up no worries no worries i understand that uh, i read them in the 90s oh that's cool yes handmaid tale is awesome that is a good show that is hmm i i don't get into political stuff here if y'all see me on a different channel i can tell you about it, all my thoughts <laughs> i know rachel <laughs> I'm 
like, why are you fussing at me? And they're like, it's, it's over you know, when I'm looking for things with my grant for my kid, my kids or whatever. And yeah, you know, this pops up and I'm like, well, don't let them watch it. You know, just don't put it on. <laughs> that is part of being a parent. And I ha I posted something and, or, or there were some posts. And so other people have started chiming in. I think it's on the Ghostbusters, uh, in the Ghostbusters thing in the comments. But I'm like, okay. <laughs> Whatever. I can't make everybody happy, nor do I try. I do what makes me happy. I do what people who are coming here and, and spending this time with me, I will do things that y'all want me to do because it's grandma's house and y'all are coming to grandma's house to hang out and have fun and learn stuff. And, you know, and I do not do anything that would be bad for a child. I don't even the, even the cereal one, no, there was nothing on there that you wouldn't see on television. I think somebody said um, there's worse on PBS. <laughs> I was laughing at that one. So I can't remember who said that. Said, yeah, I see worse on P or I've seen worse on PBS or something like that. I'm like, <laughs> yes. And that is a children's thing, but not PBS is not for children. That is not a children's thing. So even cartoon stuff, you've got the cartoons at night that are not for children. Simpsons is not for children. <laughs> Family Guy is not for children. Just because it's, it's so, the South Park is not for South Park is funny. South Park is not for children. I allowed my children as small children to watch South Park, but I would watch it first. And if there were parts that, I did not think were appropriate for my young children, which there are, there was a lot. I would stop them at that. And then I would tell them the rest of it. So I would let them watch it to whatever point it was where I knew that that thing that I didn't want them to see or hear was coming on. I stopped it. And then I would tell them the rest. And they were fine with that because I allowed them to at least watch part of it. And now as adults, they are like, mom, I'm glad you did that. And I remember blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, but you didn't see that part. I told you, I didn't tell, I did, they didn't see the bad parts. I told them the rest of it because it was funny. <laughs> Bonding experiences with my children. <laughs> I was a single mom, you know, and they're going to, they're going to see it. They're going to hear it. They're going to go to school. You know, and it doesn't matter. And if they're at a Christian school or whatever, it's even worse, even worse. So anyway, I am going to shut my mouth and I'm going to get off of here again. Thank you. Thank you for coming and spending this time with me. I so greatly appreciate it. Glad you popped in. I have a story. Um, go check him out. Rachel, love you. Glad y'all had fun. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. Mwah.